last video. Uh, I haven't just been slacking off and drinking beer. I've been uh, working pretty hard on fitting the front suspension and uh, drinking beer. Uh, unfortunately, a few errors have crept in along the way, possibly due to the beer, possibly not. Uh, and uh, so a fair bit of rework's been done. So I'm still waiting on some parts of the front suspension, so I can't finish that off. So I'm going to move to some serious race car stuff and look at the roll cage situation. So this car has a pretty basic cage in it already, sort of as part of the, part of the chassis. Um, unfortunately, it doesn't meet the, uh, the current cams regs in a pretty uh, fundamental way. The biggest issue, apart from Ben's being in the wrong spot, is that the tubes are all too small. Uh, the main hoop needs to be 44mm, I think it's 38mm in this car, and the, uh, the side hoops are also a little bit small as well. We spoke to Cams and to see if there was a way we could sort of add extra bars to make it comply, but it turns out that um, it's going to be easy just to chop out what we don't need and install a brand new up to spec cage. So I've got the engine out for some access, removed the doors, uh, got my best yoga mat out to uh, protect the inside of the screen from all the pretty sparks. Um, so it's time to start cutting out some cage. This is not going to be fun. So there's the current main hoop. Uh, the plan is to cut that off at that square chassis bar, um, which was going to be awesome fun because there's just so much access to it. Then the side hoop comes along the top of the roof line and follows the A pillar down and uh, plan on chopping that down near that, that first bend to pretty much cut the sort of top half of the cage out. And this is what I plan to put in its place, uh, something a little bit more substantial. So we've got a brand new main hoop that will come up on a on a slight angle to um, get the top of the top of that main hoop as far back as we can. Um, some new decent uh, rear braces for the main hoop. Uh, front leg similar to uh, what is in there, but with a vertical section, which is dictated by the rules. Also, these uh, front leg reinforcement pillars need to be added, uh, a big crossbar on the main hoop and some nice side intrusion bars, getting them as low as we can so we can actually get in and out of the car. Also need to add in a, a V in the roof. You can either put a V or a cross. If you put a V in the roof you also need to add a V in the, in the rear brace here. Um, but if we were to put a cross in, uh, in this cage, it just wouldn't be enough room for our heads, so going for the V configuration. So that's the plan, um, but first, as I said, I need to crank out every angle grinder I have and uh, cut out this offending metalwork.
Well, that was easier than expected. Tool of the week, the sabre saw, so good. Uh, time to unstraighten some tube, I think. First tube, main hoop. So this is the big one, this is the 44 mil, or one and three quarter. Freedom units. Uh, bit of a tricky one, four bends. The overall width is obviously very critical. Uh, I think my plan of attack here is I'll start from the centre and work out and hopefully then I can do a little bit of course correction along the way. So off the CAD I've worked out where the bends should start and uh, the angle of the bends. So um, to the bender, but the tube bender this time. And here is the tube bender that's going to ruin our very expensive tube. Uh, pretty basic operation, it's got this big hydraulic ram that pushes up onto this roller, uh, that pushes against this follower, um, that forces the tube into the, the, uh, the bending die. I've got the mark of the start of the bend lined up with the start of the, the die, and uh, Got the digital protractor out to measure the angle. I've got two there because I just wanted to have a protractor off. Uh, right, I think I've put it off long enough. We're going for 64.95 degrees. Start bending. Why did that just go to zero of those again? Start bending. And we're going to hit the roof. God damn it! That is one heavy unit. Alright, repositioned on the floor. Let's see if we've got enough head space now. Re zeroed the protractors. We're at 44 degrees. Let's go. Another 20 degrees. Alright, had to go extreme, just mounted on an angle. I should have plenty of roof space now. Re zeroed the protractors again. 57.95, 58. Six more to go, six and a half. Point three of a degree between friends. Looks pretty good. Not a bad looking bend at all. So just got on the bench to do some comparisons with the bends I'm using in the CAD model. Uh, the centre line distance from the start of the bend to the intersection should be, according to the CAD, 95 mil 97 mil sorry uh, we've got around 105 mil um, from where we started the bend and looking at the actual bend it does look like the bend starts a little bit after the follower or the die first engages which is sort of to be expected uh, so there's a bit of a discrepancy of about 7 mil there. So I've just gone along and rejigged all my marks uh, and then taken 7mm off the other side to give me a spot to line up the die. Uh, time for bend number two. Second bend complete. Uh, it's looking good. I did put it back in the bender uh, and just tweak both sides a little bit further in. So now they're right on their uh, 115 degrees that we were aiming for. Um, and I also bent it back in this direction and shortened this 
Looks like the bending radius is slightly larger than the uh, 152.4 um, that it should be. So, uh, but now measuring from the start of the next bend across, I've got the correct dimension uh, lining up with CAD. So now it's a matter of bending these legs square to this top bar. I'll uh, probably bend them like a couple of degrees short on each side, um, just so I can tweak the foot distance and get that exactly right. Uh, yeah, not a whole lot of fun trying to bend three meters of tube by yourself. It's only a matter of time before I wipe out one of my nice LED workshop lights. Last two bends done. And we're aiming for a center to center of 1250. And we're looking like we're about 1260. So 10 mil out. I don't think that's gonna be a problem. Five mil side to side, I'm calling that a massive win. Okay, next step is to trim it down a little bit so I've got a chance getting into the car. So I'll measure off the top, um, trim off the legs with a little bit extra, and then go and drill some big holes in the car so that we can uh, drop it down and actually fit it in. Not a whole lot of room for two people in there, is there? Got to love the wrist snapping ability of a big hole saw on a hand drill. gone in there amazingly well um, yeah super happy like it it's super close to the bodywork but isn't touching anywhere it's really maximized the uh, the available space um, originally I planned to scallop out this this bar to push it push the uh, main hoop back probably another 10 15 mil um, undecided but I'll probably still do that uh, and once I've got that into its final resting place, I can uh, look at bending up the two lateral hoops which are going to be very interesting because unlike the main hoop which is in a single plane, there's two bends in two different planes so uh, angles everywhere but uh, holy shit that was dangerous work.